Hey, what's up? It's Lonnie Robinson. In this video, I want to show you how to get rid of that Google Chrome.exe corrupt file. You know, the one that pops up when you try to exit out of Google Chrome or close a page down out off of your Google Chrome browser. That's a tongue twister. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm at my desktop right now. So what we want to do is you've probably got your Google Chrome shortcut there. So let's right click on that and click on properties. Okay, and you'll see this little Google Chrome win properties window open up. Um here where it says target. We don't really want to well we don't we can start there, but let's let's go to the start in. You see where it says start in? And what we're going to do is we're going to take our mouse and we're going to highlight the uh what we've got there all the way up until we get to application you see how I did that so then we'll right click and we're gonna copy I'll click OK to close that then we're going to go into our uh, menu and you'll see we've got application now I've got two here but what you wanna do is you wanna click on application okay um, and then you click on Chrome okay so you'll see application and then user user data now this is what you need to do you need to get rid of this user data you need to uh, rename it so let's right click it and rename it and we'll put maybe underscore one I'm gonna put two but I'm not going to save it but what you'll do is you'll hit enter after you do that okay alright that will get rid of that that error for you I mean that's that's all I know to tell you that'll get rid of it for you um, one thing that I, that you want to do is you want to go into user, da user data the one that you that you uh, change to to um, the underscore one and you click on that user user data one and then you click default and what you want to do is you want to go down here and look for bookmarks now my bookmarks aren't there but you'll see something that says bookmarks and then bookmarks uh, dot BAK so what you want to do is you want to copy those so we can just I'll just use cookies as an example in cookies journal you just right click and you want to copy and then you go to your desktop and click paste All right so then fire up your Google Chrome browser All right. and as you can see let's see here let's go to a page here let's go to Gmail okay and then let's go to Facebook in another tab okay now it used to be when I would uh, exit one of these I'd get this little corrupt thing down here but now nothing okay so basically you close that close that browser back down make sure every, all the windows are closed and what that's going to do is that's going to activate uh, a new folder let me show you that folder that's going to activate a new folder in your user, da user data I'm sorry in your Chrome in your application um, you'll see user data again Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go in here and you want to go to, to default and you want to take those two and you can click and then you hit control click and then you want to slide those in here. Okay, now what that's going to do is going to ask you are you sure if you want to replace it? The answer is yes. And basically what that's doing is that's if you had anything bookmarked in in Google Chrome um, what that will do is that will that will uh, reactivate your bookmarks. 
So that's basically it. If you have any questions, please submit them below this video. All right. I hope I can help you with any with with more tips and problems that you may have in the future. Um, if you'd like, you can get a free membership at our uh, monthly marketing video lessons dot com, um, and then there's a there's a tab there that says free membership. So you can click on that and grab the free membership, and then uh, we hope you will upgrade to our gold lifetime member. And these are videos that are going to help you with other internet business questions you may have and, and help solve a lot of issues. Alright, thanks a lot. This is Lonnie Robinson saying make today your greatest.